Hello and good morning listeners welcome back to Almus Market Mornings your daily dose of global financial updates I'm your host Swaraj Raj Gopal and we have got you covered on everything from currency shifts to pivotal central bank decisions and important speeches plus you'll gain expert analysis on macroeconomic data that's shaping the market narrative right now join us for this episode and navigate the markets with confidence After the central bank meetings last week it seems markets have refocused on China. Now for a considerable period of time markets have been hoping for stimulus measures as the economy struggled with consumption due to the real estate debacle that has taken place. But as as it is with the markets hopes are still again back. Uh, Asian stocks rose along with the US equity features on expectations that again China may deliver uh, more stimulus to revive the world's second largest economy. On the domestic front, we have seen rupees strengthen significantly, and I'm sure all of you are wondering what's next on the plate. Uh, good morning, JK. It's the PC week, but I'm sure our listeners would like to know your take on the rupee. Yeah, good morning, uh, Swaraj. Uh, yes, uh, the last one week we have seen rupee participate in the overall dollar moves, and important uh, development was the break of eighty three seventy five eighty three seventy support, which has been holding for several months. and this uh, break happened along with dollar index falling as well as uh, sizable inflows that was seen for both stocks and bonds in the indian market in fact indian stocks hit another all time high last week along with you know uh, uh, many other global uh, equities also so the sentiment uh, break of technical level as well as uh, uh, not so strong presence of the central bank to buy the inflows uh, was responsible for dollar rupee making you know uh, headway on the upside uh, on the downside uh, you know we also see that you know every day market has been making a lower low for the past five days that encourages more selling as in when the market opens and uh, until they see a strong uh, entry of the central bank to mop up the flows uh, technically it looks like 8335 and 8315 Uh, can be good supports and uh, the latter level the 8315 uh, might well be where i think uh, rbi enters uh, uh, with uh, you know strong uh, buy and that can put a floor for the time be uh, because even the dollar index is had a crucial support and uh, break up this support is not easy particularly when we are faced with uh, important data ahead in this week as well as the next uh, therefore i feel dollar rupee has some more downside Uh, but not too much from these levels and uh, yes upside becomes limited to 8370 75 uh, on the global markets after the fed decision has been digested now the focus is on where we are going next in the sense what is the extent of cut that we can expect in the november meeting from the fed uh, some clues are available uh, from fed members speeches uh, mr valer who had spoken just ahead of the uh, fed meeting has uh, said that uh, in the august core pc number to be released next week will be quite weak so he is saying the half percent rate cut by fed was quite justified at the same time bowman who had actually dissented one of the only uh, dissenters after 20 years uh, when you know fed had never had a dissension in their uh, rate decision uh, she said that the meeting was uh, appropriate to calibrate the level of uh, fed funds rate that is to change the rate but uh, uh, a smaller first move in the process should have been a preferable action so that's that's all the clue that the market got but in the meantime market has been discounting more than 50% probability of half percent rate rate again in november uh, despite the fact that you know uh we had numbers from us economy last week on the jobless claims and the manufacturing side all of them came stronger so we have on the one side the market players who are looking for more rate cut who are discounting more rate cut the yields are not going up stocks are doing well and the dollar is remaining on the uh, lower side but there are a section of analysts who feel that fed has already done uh, you know uh, more than what it were normally done Half percent for uh, start in a mid uh, cycle cut, and therefore they feel quarter percent would be more for the more par for the course. 
and even if you look at uh, the dot plot nine members uh, although you know the majority did prefer a uh, half percent cut uh, nine members preferred only quarter percent cut going into the end of the year therefore uh, that number is not insignificant uh, we should take note of the fact that the upcoming data particularly on the pce if it comes higher GDP, of course, is a backward-looking data that may not be considered so important. But then the unemployment report next week. These are the three important numbers that will decide uh, the uh, you know possibly how the market uh, behaves. Uh, dollar index, uh, yes, a serious test of hundred point five zero is on, but the boost that it has got recently is from Bank of Japan. Uh, the governor there uh, making a neutral statement just changing his uh, tone from the earlier statement of you know being hawkish and uh, they seem to be wanting to up, uh, adopt a patient approach therefore the dollar in yen bounced strongly from below 141 uh, to 144 uh, last week and you know that's taken some lead for the dollar in, dollar index to go higher but i think what we need to see is whether uh, other major currencies which have a higher weightage like euro whether they can uh, see some uh, reversal to the downside and that can only give the dollar some boost. But as of now, market wants to test the downside. Uh, so technically, we don't have a signal that the dollar index is reversing and the major currencies are reversing. Uh, yes, at the same time, we are seeing um, you know some sort of a base building in dollar even about which you were talking. Uh, currency is one where the Chinese uh, central bank is uh, very active. At uh, higher levels, at 7.28, they were continuously selling dollars, and at uh, levels near 7.05, we are hearing reports of uh, uh, Chinese banks actually buying dollars to support the dollar yuan. Uh, with uh, the economy still in a slump, uh, not only have they to ease further, but also see that uh, the exchange rate uh, remains uh, competitive. Uh, for an economy which still remains uh, quite heavily dependent upon exports. Uh, therefore, I do not see a breakdown in the dollar yen, uh, you know, maybe 7.03, 7.02. Accordingly, other Asian currencies, in fact, we have seen good bounce in the uh, Korean and uh, uh, a few other Asian currencies, uh, uh, which can actually guide the dollar P also uh, to, you know, find a base uh, in the coming days. So overall, uh, the trend is still down for the dollar, including the dollar rupee, uh, awaiting stronger clues uh, for basing out and uh, at least correcting its uh, you know, a swift move to the downside that we have seen in the last 10 days. Thank you. Thank you, JK. So uh, characters, uh, just sum summing up what happened with the rupee, so strong inflows, weak dollar, and absence of central bank intervention, so rupee strengthen. 83, 75, 70 were important levels uh, which were broken uh, as there were sizable inflows. The next levels to watch out for would be 83, 30 and 83, 15. Uh, but it should be limited uh, over there uh, given that dollar index is also at uh, multiple supports. And at the same time, uh, Chinese yuan seems to be basing around these levels of 7.04 with strong reports indicating a lot of, a lot of dollar buying by uh, state-run Chinese banks. Uh, Korean and bond, in fact, has uh, seen some weakness today morning. Uh, when it comes to global markets, we are back to assess the quantum of Fed cuts uh, up ahead. Currently, the probabilities are over 50% for another 50 basis point cut in November. Uh, so that's something we'll be tracking constantly. That's it from us today. Thanks for listening. Tune in tomorrow for the latest in the financial markets.